everybody, Jessica Henry Gray here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Epiphany Week, day two. I'm excited to have you with me today. We are going to take part a portrait and just do the eyes. I get a lot of questions about how to paint the eyes and how to give them some expression in life. So I'm gonna show you how I do that today. Now this is a shorter version of a longer video I have on my Epiphany page. It's like a channel. So all the links are below for all that information on what is Epiphany. Um, so check out all of those links below. You're gonna like what you find. So let's jump into this portrait video and I'll see you on the other side. Now th this eye in particular has just this wonderful sparkle to it and uh, we're gonna concentrate on that as well. Looking to see the distance that this V in between the eye is. And then as I look at the two eyes across from each other, I'm looking at the top eyelid right here. If I draw a line straight across the top of the eye, right here. I'm gonna look across and see where this other eye meets. Now you, you can't just assume that they're both going to be shaped the same way because this eye tucks into the eye socket over here. So let's give that a darker value over this whole passage. Okay, so I'm gently, as you can see, I'm gently starting to sculpt out the form of the eye and the fleshy parts and the sunken darker parts into this toned canvas under the eye. And then there's this muscle that comes up under the eye that indicates the smile with her eyes. We've all seen smiles not really reach the eyes and um, that's what you want to watch out for there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brush and wipe it off and carve out some of the lighter white passage right there. We don't see white on the other side of this eye. I'm going to clean my brush off and use part of it, the cleaned brush, to erase and get it a little bit more accurate. Got a little bit on the fleshy part of our eye shadow area, the eyelid here. Just the slightest amount of light there. But if you keep your brushwork very loose and gentle and sort of non-committed, it's easier to sculpt and feel a little freer to say, you know, I think I need to move this over. If you start in with feeling like you need to draw everything in place, you begin with uh, the idea that you have to be committed to the drawing when if you can just think about it in terms of sculpting, your whole painting will have a, a better feel of being, having a sculptural quality. Just to help draw in the form, just to help draw in the form.
And if I lighten the pressure on my brush, it can kind of wipe out some of the paint, sort of to act as an eraser. And I'm looking at small little shapes. What is the shape of this triangle in her eye? I'm painting the iris around the dark that I already have in place. So essentially, all I'm doing is making the iris by painting around the pupil. I'm gonna come back through and reshape the eyelids. for the pupil. And the, eye, the white of the eye, I've got a little more sienna on this brush as it tucks down into the corner of the eye, the tear duct. We'll get some of that red in there. And up in here. come up in here and soften this edge where the eyeball, the iris meets the white. I like that to be a little softer. So we'll add that shine in her eyes. Very, very tiny dot. Now I want to get under her eye tucked up just a little bit more where it indicates the muscles under the eye working. And on top, muscle up under here. Some of that cadmium red mixture. And then we'll bring this corner of the eye up. Let's get that nice dark blue, brown. And 
A little bit more of the sienna mixture under this passage here. I'm going to pull that dark up just a little bit more on this under here, over here, on this side of the eye. That means the skin has to be a little bit lighter underneath so we can see that it's up there. Okay, now to finish up this eye over here, bit of that highlight coming in right here. Bring up the side of the eye and around this side. One major takeaway for this video, keep your edges soft. Keep them soft, keep it um, feeling like there's muscle and movement in there. All right, so just with a few final brush strokes, I'm going to get that cast shadow under the eyelashes a little softer, indicating the eyelashes create a shadow. And then leave it at that. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. All right, everybody, well, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, this is a shorter video of a longer one. If you wanna see more about how to paint expressive eyes and you're interested more in how to just study the portrait, I've got a lot of videos on my Epiphany page and more to come. So check it out, links are all below, and I will see you tomorrow on day three.